decently big. Not as big as. Oh, it's about the same size as that Iceland one. Is this a breakfast buffet? It's a, a fancy breakfast buffet. Yes. The thing here is um, breakfast in the Philippines is a little bit different. They still eat rice and sometimes uh, not usual American breakfast things that we're used yeah. to. And then there's even just like straight up like Korean and Japanese dishes just as breakfast dishes all of a sudden now too. So they just eat normal stuff like dinner stuff. But Isaac has quite the spread. Is it a breakfast roll? Oh my gosh, it tastes like breakfast. Oh my gosh. Chicken sausage boy, first dry. So this buffet is the breakfast buffet. They have it in the Cine Hotel where we are and the medley or buffet. Cine buffet and medley buffet. It was much cheaper at like $30, not $50. Yeah. Only Still 30. very expensive. So we decided to try it as well. We gotta go double buffet when we're staying in the fancy. Sausage is good. Is and it then, $30 sausage? Honestly, it might even be like a hundred dollar sausage. Oh my gosh. Then since it's Philippines, a Filipino style breakfast, you gotta mix it with rice also. Oh my gosh. You are straight Filipino, sir. That's good. Chocolate muffin boy. Chip muffin. Is that so, a triple chaco? It looks like it's like a fake at the top. Oh. Mm. Chocolatey? Pretty chocolatey. It's a standard chocolate chip muffin, but then this is just melty chocolate at the top. So once it oh. uh, makes contact with saliva, it melts. And then a Danish, a blueberry Danish, I think. This is fancy. Oh, very blueberry. Look at all that. I barely even got that much. Jammy, but very tasty as well. And that's just the first plate. So much more breakfast to come. I'm ready for another buffet. This is quite the buffet. It's very nice. My turn. I'm gonna try the potatoes. Oh, they're a little different than the ones last night. They have more of like a red paprika tint on them, which is interesting. So and spicy for breakfast. Really good. The bacon. It looks very fatty and not super crispy. <laughs> As it's flopped down completely. Very good bacon. I'm gonna try the monsalab. Very Filipino. Sorry. That wasn't Filipino of me, what I was just doing. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Let me compare that to this clip. Oh, totally different. It looks like they would taste similar, but they're opposite. This really? one is sweet. Oh, really? This one is salty and a little bit spicy. Totally different. Both are good. They're like a different, totally different feel. You can go sweet, spicy, delicious. Red boy with syrup boy. Look at how thick daddy that French toast is. It is very thick daddy. But we're going to start off with the ham and cheese croissant. Oh, that was very square ham. Look at that. Oh. Uh, all the ham. Is the cheese coating it at least, or is that just the bread? They just uh, added some ham on the side. Oh, there's still cheese in there. Pretty good. And uh, now I have some croissant coated. French toast and pancake. Don't worry, they have cocoa crunch up there. Oh, they have cocoa crunch? Oh. Uh, it's not as much as I thought, but whatever. Now some French toast. Not cinnamon French toast, unfortunately, just normal. Yum. Yeah. Good. Good. That's good. It's so thick and fluffy. Wow. That is good. I'm going to eat probably 30 of these because I need oh, oh, oh. Yeah, true. If we went to Denny's here in the Philippines, four pieces of these would be like 15 bucks. Literally. American restaurants are so expensive. And for some reason at Denny's, they only give you, they give you half portions for the same price. It's always like the lower quality uh, sit down restaurants too, for some yeah. reason that are more expensive. Really weird. Denny's is like a cheap place in the yes, US. Yes, that's where you go to get a ton of breakfast food. At 2 a.m. Here it's like expensive, like minimum $10 a meal. It's like the same as the U.S. price. And you get less food. It's very weird. Pretty good pancakes. It's a little firmer than I expect. Like, there's no black uh, of that much. Yeah, no, there isn't. Nice, crispy pancake. 
Yeah, are we punishment? Oh, that's very cool. I, it's working. a very international uh, meat section. Ah. I got, I don't know, some Korean one. Some sort of beef thing. That's a very strong and like sour flavor for breakfast. Interesting. It's pretty good, but for breakfast, interesting. We're American. We're used to sugar overload. Dessert for breakfast. Sugar and bread. Dessert and bread for breakfast. And then I got some katsu pork. Oh, it looks like fish. It's no house of katsu. Ah. It almost has like no flavor actually. They don't I did, seem to be doing the Japanese fried stuff very well. I did get some sauce for it, but it mixed with my other sauce as I was walking around. So I don't know what sauce it is at this point anymore. Uh oh. And I got some tapa. This was one of the like first breakfast things along with the long salag that Tyler got earlier that we tried here. And it was very tasty. Back in the good old days, four months ago. And we're still fracking here, crackers. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, tapa. Very tasty. Yeah, Not yeah. too chewy, which is good. Well, I just didn't know how hard that was, but flavor is pretty solid. And that's my meat section of the breakfast hey. today. Oh wait, I gotta try it. Red juice. You have a vial of something. Oh, popper. Cherry? Cherry juice? Or it's just, what is red things we've gotten before that are drinks? Cranberry juice? Or? It might be cranberry. It's like a bitter. Oh, it must be. Very strong. The apple juice is really strong. It's kind of similar to grape, so it's, I think it's probably cranberry. And now I'm intrigued to try how strong the apple juice was, this orange juice. This has got to be very strong. I got this weird orange juice at my condo. It had like 10 different languages on it. It had like Greek, Russian, Arabic, Indian, and they were selling it in the Philippines. And weird. it tasted terrible. What the heck? I don't know what it was. It was the weirdest tasting orange juice ever. Maybe it wasn't orange juice, it was uh, whatever else is orange, I don't know. I don't know. It was really weird. I was like, oh, very multicultural orange juice. And then it was not good. Dear God. Strong again? Very. All the drinks here are very strong. Because they're spiked with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> we should be nobbing them off of this. Oh, we should, yeah, just go, 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 go. All right, more food to come. I ordered an omelet. Oh, -ho. Coco Crunch review. Oh, sorry. Looks better than at home. Oh my gosh. Yes, uh, I went. I ordered ham and cheese. This appears to have more than just ham and cheese in it. They brought it to that table over there, and they seemed very confused. They were like, oh, All just... these tables that we're sitting at are 52A, 52B, 52. So it's a bit confusing for when they give it to certain places. Uh, and yeah. But there's tomato and... Maybe ham and cheese means a default one where they put tomato in it too, I don't know. I don't know. They literally had choices. I was like, I'll have ham and cheese. And, uh, and the other... And another one never came out, so this has to be mine. <laughs> it's been a while. I guess there's some other things in there. Is it tomato? Does it really have? Did it really have to be tomatoes? Really? There's like a lot of them too. Do you want a ham and ham and tomato omelet? Sir? I guess. Here you go. Tomatoes are my enemy. Now I don't get any eggs. Not healthy. Don't worry. They look not greasy at all. No, not at all. Very cheesy, actually. Hey, pretty good. The ham chunks are a bit small, so there's a ton of ham in there. Unfortunate. Very juicy. That is a juicy looking mother. Well, is that a dessert plate? This bread thing? Oh. Bready. A weird flavor on top. Interesting, not bad. Couldn't tell you the names of all these ones, but I got them. This one was pandan something. Buko pandan? Yeah. It's green. Very cake-like. Oh. Oh. It's like a, it's like cold, like sort of like a leche cake is, sort of. Interesting. But not 
wet like it really. It's a little wet, but it's not like soaked. Some like leche flan on the top, I think, which is the reason it's getting soaked. Another cake looking mother. Sweet cake mother. And another cake mother. Another cake mo mother indeed with maybe some coconut chunkers on top. Epic. A cake mother with some sweetness on top. Wow. They're pretty good. A cake isn't, although we said we eat desserts for breakfast, cake isn't normally one of them. No, it's not. So, yeah. They just brought out four more and I took two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying $30 for it to be skimping here. $30 worth of apple juice coming soon. Oh, let's go. 20 minutes later, it showed up. So whose is that? Not hey, you got a furry omelet. <laughs> As if it wasn't free already. <laughs> so that was the peoples that they actually brought it to who seemed very confused when they got it. We just yoinked their omelet and they were, they were very even confused. more confused. Yeah. And they were happy to give it to us. Yeah, well, they were like looking at it and they were like, I was like, is that my omelet? And then they were like, hey, did you order that? And they were like, mm. and they just gave it to us. And they're like, oh, okay, this must be it. Yeah. And then it showed up. <laughs> very late. <laughs> very late. Basic ham and cheese. Oh. Oh. Hot. They're very runny on the inside. Yeah, they are, they're juicy mothers. They only could have been cooked another minute or so. Why is it so juicy on the inside? I don't know. It's like they cooked it when it was already flipped instead of like cooking it and then yeah. flipping it. Weird. It's pretty good though. Oh, really good. Very juicy, really cheesy. Not a, not super hammy, but omelet nonetheless. Well, that was the buffet. How was it? Pretty, pretty solid. Nice and filling, of course. It was a lot of food. Um, Thirty dollars for a buffet. Uh, but it was decent. But again, that's how much we spend on meals that super fill us up here. Yeah. And we spent $30 each on this one. So, I mean, it was good. It was. $30. A, a luxury breakfast. But you're paying luxury. for the ambiance. Oh, Come on. The light. You're in a fancy hotel. You're paying for the ambiance, oh, not the food. <laughs> I could, I'm like I could just, to get scanned. I could just put on some fancy music and like I put on a fireplace on the TV in my room and then eat Coco Crunch in my own time for we're 100 pesos. We're converting your uh, apartment into a luxury hotel uh -huh. uh, restaurant just so we can charge extra. Yeah, the ambiance. I think you can charge a thousand dollars just for that uh, lion statue though. I think so. Hey, I mean, some some people's logic on our hollow hollow video, it seems like they would justify that. Hey, they were playing the piano. So you gotta pay $20 for a dessert. <laughs> it was good, it was a cool experience to eat some of these expensive buffets, but you know, for the content. For the content, I am sure we'll be back tomorrow. See you guys then. Uh -oh.